Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video, we are going to take a look how to graph a trigonometric function. We are going to graph the sine function uh, using a table. Right? So, what you see here on the left side is the unit circle, which we are going to use it. I'm going to draw a big, 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 big table, x and y. And in this table, we are going to start with 0. 0 degree means also 0 radians. And if we take a look to the uh, sine function, we got right here, the sine of 0 is 0. Then we're going to go to the next point, which is this one, which is 30 degree or pi over 6. The sine function is 1 half or 0.5. The next guy is uh, this one, and the sine function is square root of 2 over 2. That guy is pi over 4, 45 degree. And square root of 2 over 2, if we simplify, is going to be 0 0.7. Okay, the next guy is point D. This is the sine function. That will be point D. It's 60 degree pi over 3. And square root of 3 over 2, it's 0.8. Okay. And uh, one last guy in quadrant 1 will be point E, which is 90 degree, or pi over 2. And the sine is 1. And basically now we can graph the first part of the sine function. 0 is 0. Pi over 6 and 0.5, somewhere here. Pi over 4 and uh, 0.7, somewhere here. Pi over 3.8 and pi over 2 to 90 degree. Okay, so we have, like I said, the first part of a sine function. Okay, uh, now let me draw a line here, move to quadrant 2. So the first guy with quadrant 2 is going to be point F, which is 120 degree. Right, and this is square root of 3 over 2. 120 degree means 2 pi over 3, and again we go back to 0.8. The very next uh, point is g, which is 3 pi over 4, and again we have square root of 2 over 2, which is 0.7. The uh, next one is h. Uh, which is 150 degree and it's one half 150 degree pi pi over 6 one half point five and the last one in quadrant two point in quadrant two point i uh, that is gonna be a 180 or pi and uh, the sign will be back to zero right. so let's point the other points the first one the second one, the third one, and back to zero. Okay. And let's move to quadrant three. And we're going to start first with point J, for which we have this sign of negative one half. Point J is 210 degree, which is 7 pi over 6. And then we have negative 0.5. Uh, the next uh, one will be 225 degree which is going to be 5 pi over 4 and that is going to be negative 0.7 is this guy right? point k now we're going to move to point l which we have negative square root of 3 over 2 uh, point l is, is going to be nothing else than um, 4 pi over 3 right? 240 degree And as I said, uh, negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 0.8. And the last one in quadrant 3 uh, on the y axis is going to be point M, which is 370 degrees, 3 pi over 2, and the sign is negative 1. Okay. So again, let's other points. Oops, sorry, this is a little bit more. Right, somewhere here, and here, and here, and back here. So, here yep, we have this curve. And now we're going to move to the last quadrant uh, where we have 300 degree by pi over 3. That will be negative point eight, right? Is uh, this guy 
Then we move to 7 pi over 4, 315 degree, negative 0.7. Then we're going to move to Q, and we have 330 degrees, or 11 pi over 6, not in negative 0.5. And the last one is 360 degree 2 pi, and we go back to 0, all right? So basically, again, we're going to have something like this. And this is the graph of sine of x from 0 to 2 pi. Okay? After that, this graph repeats itself. So this is the graph of sine of x. We did it by hand or using the unit circle. This is a, a better graph, right? Using a computer algebra system. What you the feature of this graph are very simple. We have three intercepts. If we look between 0 and 2 pi, 1 max, 1 mean. Three intercepts, 0, pi, 2 pi, right? Mean. 3 pi over 2, max pi over 2, and the amplitude is 1, right? The midline is y equals 0, okay? If you enjoyed this uh, clip, don't forget to click the like button, then right, and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you!